one oh lifetime on Ling Ling. Interesting, this matchup is not known for being good for Olimar. Oh, wait. Uh, so I, I'm a little bit of a new weep, but uh, do you know what uh, Ling Ling's uh, tag is? Mikasa. 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 Mikasa's uh, this really badass chick from uh, Attack on Titan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, I have started watching it. Pretty cool character. You'll yeah. like that character. You'll see. For sure, for sure. All right. Yeah, swings you off to like a, a riveting start. He's just like, I'm going to chill over here and throw some stuff at you. Yeah. I mean, he's really not looking to engage here. Up close, he's just gonna he's gonna lose. Yeah, dude, he actually grabbed him from so far away. He was like in float. He got grabbed. Mm. Okay, pretty even start so far. No. Th this is where Lillian has to make stuff happen. He has to like keep you at ledge because like you're uh, like I think Peach's options for keeping you at ledge are actually pretty good against Olimar. Yes, the corner pressure yeah. in general is is very safe. And it kind of forces Swigzy to jump in a lot of situations where he does not want to. Like, yeah. that's the last thing he wants to do, being there. This is a good spot, though. Nice and even. Stock one. Oh, oh. gets that right back here. First stock goes to Swigzy. And now he's going to want to play his game from far yeah, away. Yeah, th th this is, this is the, the, the snake syndrome. It's the same crap. Like, like you get the lead, you want to, like... I'm not playing the game with you. I'm I'm milking this. Yes, the chip damage. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's already working out for him. Oh. 42. Oh, he the got grabbed grab on the side. Scoops feet. him out. See, Peach very very good at just murdering these Pikmin in huge hordes. Yeah. But as long as Swigzy keeps his distance, he can just pluck more. And now, then he gets the purples, and it actually becomes better for him. So Ling wants to make sure he's not killing too many and leaving Swigzy with more than one purple at a time. Yeah, Ooh, it's actually, it's actually pretty interesting that the counterplay is actually not to let him cycle how he wants to. Yeah, sometimes you want to leave certain Pikmin alive because it's very, very hard to kill the purples compared to the others. Especially if you're, like, purples aside, like, if you're in range for grab, like, you probably don't want to let him cycle into a blue. True, of course. It's really unfortunate you get very little turn up play versus this character. Oh, the stitch, and he just throws it. This is a very good spot for Swigzy right now. Yeah. Still playing from a distance. Doesn't need to get up close. And now Ling is really falling back on these turn ups right now. I think now. That, that low totally float, different that, switch. That low float angle uh, out of short hop is like the correct angle to dodge uh, Pikmin throws as well as land the turn up on his head. Like, yeah. Pikmin slaughtered right now. Ling's kind of trekking this back. Swigzy's still got the stock lead, but he's, he's looking for one of his big damage openers now, more so. The chip damage game has been working less and less as yeah. Ling just starts killing these Pikmin as soon as they get on him. That was, uh, yeah, that was the purple clashing. Oh, well, actually just outright beating uh, Ling's side B. Oh, the turn up was Ooh, good does there. He drop? I like that. I like this he dropped turn it there. Yeah. They're going to take it. And now evened up. Swigzy not, not getting the extra credit he wanted there. Oh, this is going to be some he's, good damage. He's, yeah, he was very aware of, like, I know you want to land on my shield with, with uh, Dare. It's very, very safe but I can still grab you out of it as long as I'm ready. Mm. Oh, he's got him at the corner again. Oh, the clank. Swigzy really feeling desperate for that purple forward smash. Yeah. Not landing any big hits in the last 30 seconds, honestly. Yeah, Ling has very much starved him out of like the early damage he was taking. He is no longer like letting that happen. That roll in. Ooh, the, that roll -in. the pressure and Crown's that's going to do it. Maybe going for a parry there, maybe just dropping shield. The corner pressure is proving very, very tough for Olimar here. And Ling knows exactly how to use the turnip. As he started doing more as the game went on, mm -hmm. to use the turnip in those situations to really put the pressure on. Yeah, to be honest, Swigzy was in the driver's seat most of that, the beginning of that game, absolutely. Yeah, turned around. See, I... I it was a very quick stage decision, so I want to say we're going to go back. PS2, yeah, I, I, I yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. 
You, you know, if you didn't if you didn't take note of what stage decision it was, it's probably a run back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually like that a lot. So like, if uh, if Swixie's throwing a Pikmin like point blank when when Ling is approaching, he can landing back air and extend the hurt uh, the hitbox through the Pikmin and still like challenge with it. Yeah. So that like that like rar float landing back air <laughs> is is pretty good against like side B forward airs. Catching him in the air a little bit. Down tilts an assassin. Just sends those Pikmin to the graveyard. <laughs> oh, the white. Uh, honestly, though, Double the white purple. the white has been proving not as great as normal. That shouldn't do it. Turn up not yet. Just a little. But Swigsy having to burn all his Pikmin there. Okay, he's got them all back. Yeah. Ling definitely feeling safe with those landing back airs. Yeah, the, the landing back airs definitely extend didn't the hitbox, work, yep. Yeah, so so long, and as if that hitbox isn't already, you know, great enough. I think maybe Swigzy needs to be looking to not throw Pikmin right as he's trying to back air him, and maybe look for the parry. Yeah, getting a little greedy with the grab. Yeah. Saw he had the blue one on deck. Dash grab got punished by the forward. He air. wants that same lead, but now Ling's got it. Oh, good down air. Him, though. Isn't it? Oh, the swerve from Ling was so good. I wonder how Dow Smash would have fared in that position because he was like a little bit above ledge, like coming in on that angle. I wonder if Down Smash would have got under the parasol and hit. Could have. The, the Pikmin don't love to go off stage, even if you're standing like even right. Even if you're standing definitely. Yeah, it's interesting. They, they, I think they can. It's interesting. I don't see a lot of that that move uh, utilized by Swizzy. So he needs to close this out. He has, he has blue and white Pikmin on okay, deck. Yeah, the there he goes. Though, got the yeah. Oh, they're just losing them so quickly. The white ones have, we've seen no play from them this game. Oh, the double up smash, though. Yeah, Ling hard DI'd that away. He wasn't trying to get uh, second up smash after the first one. This is a good wait. I actually like the wait there. Oh, can Hyper aggressive now. Still faring all right for Swigzy though. No. I swear back air is like 90% of Ling's damage. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and he feels fine about going in because if if a Pikmin does stick him, he kills it. Yeah. Every time, like it's the, the consistency there, like he doesn't have to worry about it not killing the Pikmin. A lot of moves it's inconsistent, but with that back air it's just working out every time. Those fares that Linger land, it's the same kind of like turn up angle I'm talking about where he like low floats right above and then comes in as Swigzy swings under him. Similar spot. Oh, he's just... The weave it's, is too good. It's, yeah. Honestly, it's looking tough there. I don't know what the, the right option would be. That going straight through the Pikmin. Good Trump. So he's going to make something happen here. Blue won't do it just yet, so he needs some a little damage. The back air, not it. Does whistle cycle Pikmin? It'll go to the next one, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it'll okay, call okay, out the okay. next one. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, like a normal move. Mm -hmm. well, Swigzy cannot get close enough even to land these big hits anymore. It's Link uh, playing from a distance with these turnips. Oh, and he's just taking this damage. Frustrated. That was really interesting by Link to throw the side B there because it's a different, uh, it's a different timing than the than the turnip. Mm. So it's cool to like try to get him catching your counterplay. Yeah, and he picked up all that extra credit. Yeah. Swigzy's gonna need one this of his, so his big yep. up smash like combo starters. It's tough because he can't get really any of this chip damage from sticking Pikmin. And this is a rough spot. Yeah. Oh, Ling Lane played that thing. fantastically. That that was that was he he realized really early on that back air was just gonna it was the answer. It was mm. I'm gonna go through your Pikmin. I'm gonna not take all the ship damage.